tell you what's been on my mind. Hi guys, Sean from Let's Make a Mess today. How are you doing? Well, last time on this press series, press flower series, it's not really a series, but you know what I'm saying. The last time you saw me open this up, and this time I'm going to actually do something with them because I need this press because I want to put some other flowers in there. But what I did was I looked online how to do this, and the easiest thing I found was something from Rabina Nina Rabina. I'll put the link down below. And she used um, she used deli paper to put these down. And so I'll show you how that turned out. Aren't these great? They turn out really good. I put these these are big pieces, so I put them on big pieces of watercolor paper. And yeah, I really enjoyed these. They're really big and they're really fat, so there's going to be some air bubbles in them when they're so fat. But I really enjoyed doing it with um, the um, this way, right, with the deli paper. But then I figured, well, I'm going to go ahead and just try it with some tissue paper, which I actually liked better. And so we're going to do both ways today. I got, I love them both, so I'm just saying. But I do enjoy the tissue paper a little bit more because I think I, it lays down a little better. So you need a really soft brush. So these are watercolor brushes, so a really soft brush. Um, and, um, and some Mod Podge. <clears throat> and today I'm going to go ahead and come in a little bit for you. And so today I want to create some ATCs because I need some. So is that in? Yeah, that's pretty close, huh? All right, pretty close. So there we go. So yeah, so basically, and what I'm going to do on these is I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, backgrounds that I created for ATCs on my last ATC video. So I have some of these left, so I'm going to go ahead and use them today for this. And so basically what Nina Ravina did was just use this watercolor paper, but I wanted to just up it a little bit and put it, put some of this on here. So these are a couple more of the um, pressed flowers that are on there. So I'm going to try it with this, see how it works. It should work. I don't know why not. I'm going to use a smaller brush in a minute, but I'll use a larger one to start. I am not a very careful person. So there, yeah. So, you know, you can wipe it on the back of this, which is, see, that's not a good idea for me because I, I would just put it on here. I did it both ways, but anyway, just let's just roll with it. You know me, guys. You know me. So let's just go ahead and roll with it. I'm just going to stick it on here like so. There we go. So it's on there. That's fine. And then we'll do the other one, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it down on on here as long as it's on the page right it doesn't have to be on the flower she's more delicate than I am I'm not a delicate person I am not a delicate little flower I'm going to try to grab this one that has a little bit more purple in it so let's see if I can grab that without breaking it I don't care if I break that one there we go Ooh, that's pretty so let's go ahead and grab this one right here I like that one so we're gonna put that on here too where do I want it though um, yeah just like so just like that maybe yeah just like so move it over a little bit even there we go I like that so we'll add a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more there we go there we go I could probably bring this one down some yeah that would look better if I brought it down some let's bring it down if I can if I can't that's okay too I didn't think this out did I <laughs> I didn't think this one through very well did I that's all right Okay, that might break. It feels like it's gonna, so we're gonna go ahead and leave it there, just like so. That's fine. So she uses words on hers. Now I didn't use words on these because they're big, and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them. I'm probably just gonna add them to Happy Mail. But on this one, since this is an ATC, I'm gonna go ahead and add some words to it. I think that'd be pretty. I might even add another little flower, like in the middle. We'll see how it goes as I go. Um, but right now, I'm just gonna find a little thing and I'm going to call it lucky him we'll put the lucky him on there and because I have a person in mind to get this you know who you are so I'm going to stick that on there I could have went around that with some tech with some ink but I did not live and learn but that's okay and so now on this one I'm not going to not going to use that I'm going to go ahead and just use the um the tissue paper we're going to do both methods today but right now I'm just going to use the tissue paper on this one because I felt like the tissue paper um, I felt like the tissue paper laid down better on the, um, the project. So, yeah. And then when you're working it, it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of, um, wrinkles because they will come out. You'll see what I mean. So, yeah, the, the tissue paper wrinkles will come out. 
as it dries. But you want to try to get most of them out if you can. But yeah, but carefully because, yeah. And I'm not a perfectionist. Uh, please check out Rabina, Nina Rabina. She does a much nicer job, but the outcome is perfect for me. I don't, you know, you know me, guys. I don't have to be perfect. That's why I enjoy crafting. If I had to be perfect, I wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> there we go. So that's just going to go down like that. And I'm going to go ahead and use this one maybe to... And then this one takes longer to dry, but I'll show you what I mean. Because this one um, is, uh, you know, wet on top. And the other one you'll see is wet underneath, uh, underneath the paper, which is really a cool thing. There we go, getting some of that out of there. And I was pretty heavy on the ink, on the, um, I was pretty heavy on the, on the, uh, whatchamacallit this time, the glue. I really, really, really went to town on that glue this time. So there we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this aside to dry over there. And then let's do something with the, um, other paper. We're going to do something with this paper. This is the watercolor paper and I'm going to do use the uh, deli sheet with this and I want to, I think those roses are here somewhere. Yes, I'm going to play with these roses for a second. So on the roses, I just want to, I'm telling you this little spatula has been a really good friend. So we're going to use a bigger piece of paper. So let's move this over. On, on this roses, I'm just going to kind of try to recreate like a little rose, if you will, somehow. This little spatula has been a real friend of mine <laughs> during this process because I'm not a delicate little flower person. So, yeah. So it just separates things nicely. Um, is there one or two there? I think there's a couple. How that just goes in there and takes that off of there nicely for you. Not perfectly, but nicely. Let's kind of get some, maybe one more. Maybe one more. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Let's get this out of the way. There we go. Let's see what we got here. All right. So again, I'm going to just put the, the glue on the paper because for me it works out better that way. But I'm not going to put too, too much. I don't think you need too, too much because you're going to sandwich it. This just kind of makes it stick down. And I think I'll get better, better uh, results in the wrinklage. That was a technical term in the wrinklage. So I'm gonna put that there. Put, probably could put a little bit more on it, but I'm not going to because, it, like again, I said, it's going to be, um, it's going to be. Um, sandwiched. This is going to be sandwiched. So there's that. I'm going to try to come up with some kind of a fake middle with this. You know, maybe just put one on the middle. Oh, that's pretty, huh? Isn't that pretty? So I was thinking, no, I want to keep these together. Let's see what I'm doing here. I think I'll just go ahead and use Let's just do this. Let's layer as many as we can until I get to the middle and have a real like nice layered look. You know, I'll show you what I mean. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. Okay. I'm sorry I'm so disorganized, but you'll have that when you're me. You will have that when you are me. Okay. 
but I'm very excited to do this. I don't know how often to work I'll ever do this again, <laughs> but it was something to try. You know me, I try everything at least once, you know, well, maybe not everything, but a lot of stuff. So yeah, I'll try everything at least once. So. This is pretty. And then one more just for kicks and grins. Maybe right, right there. Yeah, that's pretty. Or how about this one? If I don't ruin it with my little... Oh, too late. Too bad, so sad. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this one down. But, you know, I want to add something else to this. So hold on one moment. Good. That's really good. Uh, there's some leaves on here. I want to take advantage of maybe the smaller ones, like this one here. Let's stick that in here. Maybe I should have done that first, huh? I am back. My camera froze on us. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave this like this. The, the uh, leaf uh, idea did not work out for this. And it's a big it's a big flower on a little page. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just cover this one. And for this one, I am going to go ahead and use the deli paper. So let me see something. Yeah. So let's go ahead and use the deli paper. Let's get these out of the way so I don't ruin them. Um, I've got it back up over here. So with that, I'm just going to go ahead and draw on, paint on, I should say, a little bit of uh, Mod Podge. And again, I'm not going to be too precious about it, and I'm not going to um, be put too much on there um, because I don't want it to bubble too much. But it, like I said, the bubbles do come out um, as it dries. It's amazing how it does end up being quite flat. So, but... Let's go ahead and put a little bit on here. Not a lot, just a little. Sandwich it in a little bit nicely. Um, for me, this is just a good way to um, use those flowers quickly. And uh, thank you to Rabina Nina Rabina. What a wonderful name for putting out her video on how to do this. I mean, it was the easiest way to do it, you know? So this way you don't put the, um, this is a good way because you don't put um, anything on top of this now. It is what it is. So it's basically dry, you guys. But when it does dry, it does dry clear. Here, let me show you. It dries clear and it dries, um, you know, pretty um, unbumpy. Now mine are bumpy because these are big bumpy flowers, but it's cute, right? I really like it. She edges it. Of course, I'm not going to do that because you know me. I'm very not... I don't have a lot of ink right now either, but even if I did, I don't know if I would do that. So I'm just going to set this aside to dry, and it will be, it will be really pretty, you guys. These, it'll be wrinkly, but it'll be pretty. So not too bad, though, you know. Anyway, it doesn't look like much now, but I promise that it will later. So I'm going to go ahead and put this aside to dry. And I want to do a couple more um, ATCs. Uh, so let me go, let's go through here and find the ones I want to use. Now I don't want to use this because it's too big, but I do need to do some more. I think that these roses are done. I'm, well, let's just put them on here. Let's just let's put them on here. I might find some use for them. Who knows? You know, put them right there for now. I'm gonna put that up there. Kind of go through here. Now these are itty bitty little flowers. These are adorable. These would be cute on an ATC. So let's play with those for a minute, okay? Just some little, they look like bugs. <laughs> but I'm gonna do this ATC and I'm gonna make it look like a little garden. Won't that be cute? So I'm gonna go ahead and put down some, um, a little bit of glue. Mod Podge is what I'm using. We're gonna take our little flowers and make a little garden here. So there's one little garden flower. There's another little garden flower. Isn't that cute? Another little garden flower. So cute. Let's make it higher. Very cute. I like the ones that have the little stems on them. They're adorbs. So there's a little, oh, there's a couple. This one's sweet. 
And then there's a pretty long one here, but I almost think it's too long, but I'm going to use it anyway. Let's put it up here. Or I can use that on a longer ATC. Yeah, we'll use that on the next ATC. So let's just put one more on here. Loopy. Turn it around. Okay, maybe we'll do two more if I can find one that goes here perfectly. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one. Oh, there's some more. We'll use this little one. Perfect. Perfection. Oh no. How dare you? It's okay. It's okay. Just be patient and gentle, which are not my two favorite things. All right. Isn't that a cute little garden? It's just sweet. Let's find some words to put on that. Out of this, I'm using, and I don't use this very often. This is the Tim Holtz Clipping Sticker Book, and they're, it, they're strange little sayings. What I knew for good measure, to brave girl. I mean, wide awake girls, a beautiful home, mementos to live by. I think I'll use that one. But some of these are just odd, you know. They're not very, um, I don't know, very, uh, I don't know. They're just kind of weird. Okay, so I have it. I do have this ink thing that I've been using forever. And let's pull a button if I can find it. We'll just use this. Oop, that's okay. Let's definitely go out a little bit. There's these little daubers at the thrift, not the thrift store, but the Dollar Tree I wanted to pick up. So let's put that there. Mementos live here. So that's cute, right? And then we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more more glue not a lot just a pinch there we go and then on this one i'm going to go ahead and use the tissue paper again i think i don't know why i actually do like the tissue paper look even though i can't show you until it's dry how cute it actually turns out so maybe at the, i'll wait a while and then at the end of this video i will put in some um i will put in the um finished product so you can take a look I think I'll do that yeah I'll do that so then you just kind of go over this and then you use a little brush get your corner there and you just kind of dab down and you go around your little flowers oh yeah this is adorable I have a couple of people I need to send some ATCs to so yeah these are nice to have on hand. Okay. So we'll let that dry. And again, you don't have to be perfect about it, you guys. I am so not, but this will turn out cute. Oops, I will show you when I'm done how cute this turned out. I'm gonna set this over here to dry. Let's do another one. I think I'm gonna go share some music with you guys now. So yeah. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Stop. 
as a bride Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Ooh. Ooh. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Yeah, we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand your eyes get some rest I'm by your side lay your head on my chest I know you've had